a toast? Uh, yeah. That'd be one pound twenty. Just joking. Go on. Okay. <laughs> so, um, what are we toasting to? Well, the two new queens of the Vic, obviously. Oh, right. I like him. He lays out on a bit thick, but I like him. <laughs> well, congratulations, Elaine. Would have been nice to have a heads up, though. I told you to tell us sooner, you daft mare. Mum, don't. I thought you two were friends. Yeah. So did I. Oh, well, that's going to take some time sorting out. Ooh. Well, listen up, everyone. I've worked in pubs all my life. What's happening? And I've heard people say, oh... I'll tell you in a second. Pubs are all the same. Well, let me tell you something. They're not. Some pubs are special, and that's because of the people in them. And I think this pub and all you lovely lot are really special. Not just special, but family. And I'm going to make you a promise as I stand here now, as long as I'm behind this bar, I will make sure it stays the same. Now, I'm going to say one more thing, and you will never hear me say this again. For the next half hour, the drinks are on the house! Come on! What do you want, dear? Yeah, I'll I'll see. See. <laughs> so Back a smile. What do you want, dear? No, cheers. Can we go now? I'll leave when I'm ready. Right, well, I'm ready now. Oh, leaving so soon. I think I've had enough for one night. You've been sitting there in silence that long. I was trying to work out whether you were the ventriloquist or the dummy. Mum, you've made a huge mistake. You could have gone into business with us. Successful, experienced entrepreneurs. Instead, you choose to work with your dishevelled, middle-aged mother, who, it seems, has the same keen taste for alcohol as you do. That's it. No one talks to my daughter like that. I've had enough of the both of you. Get out. And there was me thinking we were all special. <laughs> Didn't you hear what I said? Get out. You're barred. I do not know why you are having a go at me. Because you've only been here a few hours and so far you've managed to ruin any chance I had of sorting things out with Sharon. Uh, you did that. And make an enemy of the local ex-convict, which I've been trying to avoid. I mean, you've made everything worse. It'll all be forgotten about tomorrow. No, it won't. Not by Sharon and she was my best friend. Oh, grow up, darling. Best friend, you are 45, not 14. <sighs> I can't be bothered to have another argument. I am going to bed. Leave the pump. Alfie will sort it in the morning. Yeah, well, we won't need him for much longer. What do you mean? Alfie's been amazing through everything. Yes, but I'm here now. Come on. Get in. <laughs> you sleep well. No, no. Love you, darling. Do you miss me? <laughs> what? Stop it. You get me overexcited. <laughs> I can't wait either. What the hell is going on? I don't know, do I? We're gonna go and find out, haven't we? Um, no. I told you that's why we needed a man in the house. One. Wait, wait. No, no, no. We go together. After three. One, two, three! Mum. 